They lived difficult lives, apes forced to perform at shows or keep as exotic pets, then abandoned. But one South Florida sanctuary is giving them a second chance. The safe haven was designed to give these animals a quality of life they'd previously been denied. The night team's Nicole Ensalada has this special assignment report tonight. Within these woods, there are 45 stories. You'll meet some here that have come out of basements, out of garages in people's backyards. They're incredibly intelligent. They are just so worth caring for and worth helping. Did you want a flower? 45 mostly mature chimpanzees and orangutans living out the rest of their lives at the Center for Great Apes, a sanctuary in Wachula, Florida, about 90 miles southwest of Orlando. He's a good boy. Patty Reagan purchased this remote land 17 years ago after running her own business in Miami. In her spare time, she volunteered at Zoo Miami and helped rehab orangutans on the Southeast Asia island of Borneo. And the girl from South Florida found her calling. Okay, Pongo, that's a good boy. I started becoming educated about what the situation is for great apes, orangutans and chimpanzees specifically, in captivity. She learned that both chimpanzees and orangutans are endangered and that a life spent performing or kept as an exotic pet often starts and ends in misery. Great apes live with their mothers for, they have the longest mother infant dependency period of really any mammals. Which means babies so prized for entertainment are snatched from their mothers before they're ready. But of course, babies grow up. So once they start getting um, stronger at age four, five, six, seven, they outlive their life in that area. Which means there is nowhere to go. The lucky few, however, end up in a place like this. Noelle is a 19-year-old chimp. Her mother had been a pet and did not know how to raise her. But this is one smart girl. She knows some sign language. What you eat? Apple. And she loves the camera. Chucky is an almost 30-year-old orangutan. Castrated as a circus performer, he is mentally and in many ways physically still a teenager. He's a gentle soul. He spends a lot of time in the mile and a half aerial walkway that winds through the sanctuary, connecting the eight multi-story enclosures. Mari, come on, sweetie. And there she is, carrying a toy shovel in her mouth. This 34-year-old orangutan was born in a research lab. She had an eight-year-old mother, and the big male came in when she was 12 weeks old, and she shook the baby at the male because she was frightened. Baby Mari's arms had to be amputated, but she seems to have no trouble getting around. Also living in the sanctuary, Bubbles, Michael Jackson's famous pet. He does not like cameras, and the center asks he not be photographed. The majority of people who work and volunteer here at the center actually never even get a chance to touch them. Not only for safety reasons, but because these apes can catch human diseases like colds and the flu. There's relationships here that um, are respectful but very deep. With tempers, attachments, senses of humor, 45 lives each now promised a final happy chapter to their story. In Wachula, Florida, Nicole Ensalada, 7 News. I already heard from some folks wanting the answer to this question. The Center for Great Apes is funded 100% by donations. It costs about $20,000 a year to take care of one ape. If you'd like to donate, you want more information, all you have to do is go to WSVN.com. What incredible work yeah. they do. Wow, great story.